Okay, so we finished our grinding on this. It's good enough. I'm not looking for absolute perfection. But one thing I learned about on old Fords, like the old uh, first style fuel injection V8s, like on my 89 Grand Marquis, the difference between the Cobra intake, the lower intake and the regular intake was the CFM difference, okay? So that doesn't have to be perfect there, but you want a good even flow and continuity. So here's how you test this. Okay, you got four different ports there. Before I gasket, Matt, oh, it's a tough word. Yeah, I'm a big man. I'm a gasket man. It's important, Paul. It's... Anyway, so you want to get evenness. Now, I haven't messed with the head yet, but here's what you do. Watch this. Okay, to check the continuity evenness of the ports, right? The snake, this, why don't we do this first, okay? Let's, let's see where we're going. This is a crappy hose. You could use little pieces of foam. If you use something too thin, it's not going to give you that much accuracy, but like, I'm just looking for ballpark here. Okay, uh, yeah, so. Each cylinder... The cylinders are the same, but it's the the head and the intake that are going to mess it up and give you, a, it's, it's going to run smoother and better like this, and each cylinder will get the same flow and, and all that, and volume, and uh, I forgot the words, yeah. Anyway, so, by putting this through there, like, I'm going to figure out, I'll mark this better, but I don't really care. Okay, so look, that's going to come about there, right? Okay, now, the other one's probably the same. But these middle ones, I think, might be longer for some reason. So, but look, uh, I don't know, let's see. Uh, so I would have to go like that, okay? And you're not looking too bad, okay? It's not even garage, it's not even junkyard, it's a parking lot. Okay, now the middle ones. You wanna. Damn! Alright, we'll go the other way. Okay, now, like, if, if I do a proper measurement and it's like an inch off, you got a problem. Okay, look, that's already in there and it's barely coming in there. So watch. Boom. That's. You got an extra. Two inches, right? Straight from there, right? Straight from there. It doesn't even make it. You can't even see it. Barely feel it there. Watch. Now, when I come in these, it's coming right up to edge. So that's a problem. That is a problem right there. Okay, so how am I gonna how am I gonna deal with that? What I'm gonna do is I don't know. Let's think about this here. Okay, that's the same. That's going to be pretty much the same. I could open up these more. Okay, so I'm going to gasket match these all for sure. Okay. It's obvious that there's a lot more in there. Okay, but these will get opened up more. There's a little meat in there. What I could do now is I could put some kind of fluid or jelly or something in there in each of them to see, but then I'd have to like do a lot of math. I could cap that off, okay, close that up, and then say I could take eight ounces of water or whatever. I could figure out with a turkey baster or whatever how much these are, the center ones here, which are the outer, port, outer holes. <laughs> Okay, and then take that water out or the same amount of water. So I could take a measuring cup, cap that off, okay, and pour liquid, which will be water, in there. And I'll figure out by pouring how many ounces of water go in there. Okay, and then I will fill these up. Okay, and then see where I'm at. And that will be the area... Like, if they come out even because of, of the, the shape of this port being like that, then we, we have a good thing. If not, I'm going to have to compensate 
between the head and this to, to open that up so I could get the same volume in each runner, intake runner, port, plumbing. So that's what I want to do next because then the motor will be smooth. And what I found out is on the, on the, the 302 lower intake, one of them was like 72 CFM and the highest one was like 80, 87 or 89 CFM and the back right cylinder of the 302, I've had a couple of them, would start to go bad. You know, I'd have a problem there. You know, so I want this engine to be smooth. I want it to be even and and balanced as much as I can without spending any money. Now, I got about a total of three hours into this so far. I got a couple of jigsaw blades. I, I didn't have a hacksaw, but a jigsaw blades. Okay. I got a couple of bits from, from like the hardware store. So, I got like $15 in this so far. Maybe 20 Okay. And three hours of my time. And uh, once I tap them, I have a tap and die set. I'll close them off, but I'm concerned with that because I want a nice balanced motor. Okay, and I'm gonna put a two barrel on this. I, uh, I may cut a piece off of the, on the old carburetor and have it well done and tap it, or I won't have to tap it like I said. But I would love to get a one barrel Predator. Or, or one of them foreign carburetors. I forgot the name, but um, it's a two-barrel, and it comes on Volkswagens and Porsches. I can't believe I can't, I can't remember the name. But one of the ports is smaller, and one of the ports is bigger, and it acts like a four-barrel, almost. So that's kind of cool, because I don't like a four-barrel. I don't like that step, you know. I don't like the... You know, I'm, I'm a lover, not a, a rammer. <laughs> so... That's that's where it's at. So anyway, there's your tools. You figure it out. You make it work. You have fun. And if there's fusion, you're gonna be good because it's a carburetor. You'll just have to like bag up and boot all your spark plugs. You know, you could wrap your engine in silicone and in a nice silicone bag. You know. Anyway. You know, it's like you're ready for the times. It's going to be a four-cylinder, so it's going to be efficient. You know, it's, it's going to be pretty fun. So there you go. So that's how you figure it out uh, without tools and without rocket science. And then, you know, you can get there. You can get there, folks. You can, you know, try it. You'll like it.